Hi everybody, it's Kate with Releve Vintage, and welcome back to our series, Five Favorite Things. If you're not familiar with me or with my channel, my name is Kate, and I have an Etsy shop where I sell vintage items. And I'm now on YouTube here to do a series called Five Favorite Things. And what we do is I select five vintage items that I have found and four of them will be listed in my Etsy shop and one of them will stay with me. So we have different categories. Um, we have perfume bottles, we've done paperweight um, art glass items, and we've done mugs, and today we have another thing to explore which will be exciting. So this has been a fun series and your job is to watch the five items, find the one thing that you think I am not going to part with, and at the end of the video I'll let you know which one stays with me and why. So today we are going to the beach. I have five vintage beach items and four of them will be available and one of them will stay with me. So let's get started. The first one that I have, it's very heavy. It is this really cool vintage Sea Star paperweight. It's very cool. I had to think for a second because they are no longer starfish. So those of you that see this and see a starfish, make sure that you are thinking Sea Star. So when we were young and learning about sea creatures, we were told that this was a starfish, but it is actually not a fish. This lives in the tide pools and falls under a different species and a different category now, so this is a sea star. So either way, they're so cool, and I love the detail, and it is, it is deceivingly heavy. So as flat and somewhat small as it may seem, it absolutely would hold your papers down in a windstorm. So here's the bottom. The bottom is really detailed. It has those little kind of fur things that sea stars have that help them to grip onto the rocks. Here's the top. It's textured and it's very cool. And it would just be a really nice accent piece for anybody that's doing a beach house, a coastal style interior design, anything like that. It's a simple accent piece. It doesn't scream over the top. Um, Tiki Hut, it just has a nice kind of understated way about it. So this is our first beach item. And I just went to the tide pools last weekend with my son and we did not see any sea, sea stars, unfortunately. We did see hermit crabs and we saw lots of sea anemones and it was beautiful. That was our Valentine weekend activity was to head to um, a new beach, which was great. So our next beach item, very unique. I have never come across one of these except for this one. So it is just very cool. It is a hinged serpent-like, he's quite a dancer here, um, fish. Now it is made of shell. I believe, well, I can't be really be sure because I'm not a shell aficionado. Um, it has that abalone-ish look to it. It has that rainbow iridescence. Um, I will put it closer here so you can take a look at him. Um, now here's the tail, and there is one little missing piece of shell right there. So this is metal, this shell right here. And on the other side, you can see where it's missing that thin piece of shell as well. See if I can hold that up. Does it make it better if I go like that? Yep, maybe so. So there it is. So there's the shell that should be right there. Now, I can't find anywhere else where he is missing his beautiful shell overlay. He's got these little kind of knobs right here at the top, which I imagine are how these circular links are fastened together. The front, you can see he's hollow. Get a good view right in there, <laughs> his big gaping mouth. He's got this little triangle piece right here that kind of makes the mouth and then he's got two shell eyes on either side. So, um, looks a little scared to me. <laughs> I don't know. 
he I don't know if he's having a rough day or it almost looks like he's being chased by a shark I don't know does the expression read on the video I see scared shark face myself <laughs> or maybe it's the fact that it looks like he's yelling help so I don't know but at least he can sort of woo, swim away he's very fun to play with I guarantee if you had this in your home and you put it down on your coffee table um, no one would be able to not pick it up because when you see it lying there you, you can tell what it's supposed to do and it just kind of lays there and rolls around and begs for somebody to pick it up and play with it it is very very cool uh, I wish it weren't missing that last little piece there but you can tell it's it it definitely um, is an older item and I think that that's pretty good that it's only missing this little piece back here but He's very fun and very cool and very beachy and is just a cool thing to have. So love him. And I hope he's okay because his expression is a little worrisome perhaps. Okay, this next thing is shell art. This is very cool. Love the little hand painted eyes. This sweet little guy is actually playing the saxophone. So he's got a pipe cleaner here. It's hard to see, but this tiny shell is the top of the saxophone. And I believe at one time this was bent out a little bit more to be the saxophone. Um, so it's a little bit hard to see. And I'm thinking it, that this was colored as well, the pipe cleaner to have it be seen more easily. It is built onto this half clam shell and it does have a little chip right there can't really see it against the white wall little chip right there otherwise all shells are accounted for you can see it's just built on this little little mellow metal post he's got like a cool shell hat on and he is a shell musician very fun very old very cute shells shells at the beach the next item that I have is a dolphin so he is so well done he is just a cool wood carved dolphin um i would say this is a really neat kind of mid-century modern piece um would look great with um, coastal decor would match many different color schemes with the neutral wood um yeah so no markings on the bottom can definitely tell that he's old some of the areas of the finish on the wood are a little bit lighter showing that you know maybe it's been on a shelf or outside in the sun but um his nose is there his fins and the back as well now they have been you know evened out there so but there is no damage and it would just um it's just a nice little accent piece and the size is great because you don't need a lot of room to have a cool decor piece like this. So there he is over here, dolphin. All right, and the last thing that I have for my five things is this really cool lacquer tray. So love the colors on this. This is a Odagiri and it's made in Japan and it's um, entitled Sea Breeze. And it is marked on the back just seeing if there's any other information I can give you in case it doesn't come through. But there's the sticker. It's a little bit hard to read here, but it says Odagiri Japan, and then it's called Sea Breeze. And there's some instructions for how to take care of lacquerware, which whoever had this for all this time took excellent care of their lacquerware because it's beautiful. I'm getting a lot of reflection right now, the time of day that it is, and I have a lot of natural light coming in. But um, it is beautiful. Now, you can't probably see, but these seagulls are raised. So I can feel them uh, as I go across here. And I don't, the gold all around the side is in great condition. There is a little smudge right there. Very faint. I think you could see that. I'm not sure. But it's just like a little mark of some sort. Um, besides that, I can't find anything else on this guy so it's just it's just a cool piece it reminds me of something that would have been in my house growing up just the look of it and the size of it made out of that that lacquer that we all love so much and here we go not a better place to 
keep your beautiful fish. So lots of fun. So four of these things will be available. Is it going, and which one am I keeping? Am I keeping the seagull tray from Odagiri? Am I keeping cool, somewhat scared fish? Am I going to keep our hand carved wood dolphin? Or maybe our musician man shell figurine? Or is it going to be our sea star paperweight? Well, just so you know, the four things I don't keep, reach out to me at relevevintage at gmail.com if you're interested. And if you miss it and it does make it into my shop, let me know that you saw the item here on our Five Favorite Things series, and I will honor the discounted price for the YouTube viewers. So, the thing that I will be keeping is Musician Shell Man. Did you guess correctly? He's very cute. He was a gift. And this guy is over 40 years old. So his pipe cleaner was once red, so he was once playing a red saxophone. And it is now faded. But this was a gift to me from my dad. When I was little, he had to go on a business trip and he brought back two shell figurines, one for my sister and one for myself. And one of the shell figurines was a little guy sitting um, fishing, had a little fishing pole, and one was um, a little guy playing a saxophone. So he's been with me all these years. I think he's so cute and I just love handmade things and I also love the beach. So, and despite that one little chip over the years, he has certainly survived very well through um, many decades with me of being my shell companion. So I really love him. So he's gonna stay with me. He'll be back on my shelf tonight and the other things, I'd love to share them with you. And if any of those things are something that you love, if you love the beach, then maybe one of those things speaks to you. So I absolutely love the beach. I feel very spoiled to be here in California where I have access to the beach and it is very difficult for me to part with anything that is beachy because in my mind someday I'll have my beautiful quaint um, beach cottage right on the water <laughs> and I will need all these items to decorate with so I better hang on to them um, because that day is coming and you know what will I do without all of my beautiful vintage um, collectibles to decorate with but alas I will wait and if someday I get my beach cottage, then I'm sure I will have no problem finding some other beautiful vintage items to fill it with. So meanwhile, I will offer these nice vintage beachy items to everybody so that some people can bring the beach to them if we can't all live at the beach, right? All right, well, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for this series. We're not done yet. We've got some more things to feature for five favorite things. If there's a category that you would like to see, please let me know. I have vintage items from almost any category, including trinket dishes, glassware, vintage albums, clothing. So if you'd like to see five favorite things, and learn a little bit more about my own collection while being offered some beautiful things for you guys, then leave it in the comments and I will try to get to it. All right, thanks so much. Um, if you've enjoyed this series, please subscribe. I appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.